Hello everyone, welcome back to the Trans Trish build. In this episode, we are going to be, we're gonna get into feeding the electrics throughout the van, finally. So, it's gonna entail connecting the original transit battery supply to the leisure system, and then feeding that system throughout the pillar of the van, up at the passenger side, over the sliding door, and then above the sliding door, I have a piece of wood bonded to the roof of the van, where we're gonna put all our, uh, sockets and switches and stuff like that all the fuses and all that crack's going to be up there a nice little tidy spot i have her because i want to keep everything close together and it just so happens that this seems to be the best place for me to put it so that's what's going to happen i'm not going to talk any further if there's anything throughout the video that i need to chime in on or i feel like ah, maybe i'll explain this i'll jump in and uh, yeah enjoy the video Right, so everyone, before I go any further, I want to explain something that has come up um, before with people asking questions, not to me particularly, but just going out in groups and stuff like that, asking, can I charge my batteries from, uh, on a Mark 7 Transit, can you charge your batteries from the main system? Yeah, if it's not a smart, smart alternator, I'm pretty sure, so this doesn't have a smart alternator. And then you get one of these, a, a voltage um, sensitive relay. I'm gonna just read this quickly for anyone who's interested in this. If you're not interested, just skip forward probably 20 or 30 seconds. But I just wanted to say it because it's come up a lot. So the operation of it, so the voltage sensitive relay allows two batteries to be charged at the same time. When the engine is started and the battery, the start battery reaches 13.7 volts, the VSR engages, allowing the two battery banks, the start and the house battery, to be charged simultaneously. When the voltage drops below 12.8 volts, for, an, for example, the engine is stopped, the VSR disengages, separating the batteries. This system eliminates the possibility of draining the wrong battery and protects sensitive electronic equipment powered from the house battery from har harmful start-up uh, spikes. So when you start up the, the, the van in the morning or whatever, there's like a spike for the, the alternator or for the starter. Um, which could cause issues. So it's basically just a safety feature in between which you have to put there. So that's just a quick kind of thing. So let, now let's continue. Just to give you an idea of what's going on, so in here you're seeing me install my voltage relay. It's it's good. To, you're supposed to keep them very close to the battery, so it's also nice and tidily tucked in here. I have uh, this cable is going to run off the leisure system, and the other cable that you see you seeing coming out is going to run to my main batteries, and it's also aired off one of uh, off the tray here. So yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so everyone, I just want to show you where I'm at. So these are basically the two pieces of wood that I've put in. Now, a little bit off camera, I, I tidied, tidied up some of the wiring off camera just because it was uh, tricky feeding the cables throughout the van. None of this is in its final position as I don't want to do that just yet. Cable ties and all that as there's plenty to be done before we can uh, put everything in its final place. But this is the general idea of everything fed through. And then the fuses will go on this board and then be fed onto the control panels along here and then throughout the van. Just wanted to give you a little insight as um, just as so you just can see the layout and whatnot. So let's get stuck back in and uh, yeah, take it from here. So the camera battery or the camera memory filled up and cut out. So you just didn't see a certain amount of this, I would imagine. Um, yeah, so we got it wired up from the positive coming in over the 12 volt, and then we got the negative cable as well coming up into our 12 volt system hookup. So now that we have our memory sorted out in our camera, let's get back into it. So, we've gotten through a good bit, I've finally got all the batteries fed through, everything that you see right now is not finished, it's uh, basically, I just want to get everything fed through so we know, alright, is this working, am I doing it right, I seem to be getting 12 volt everywhere, so batteries are, batteries are right, the wiring is plumbed properly, um, for the most part, it has to be obviously, as I say, cleaned up cable ties, put up, fed nicely around, it's going to have covers put over the cables as well, anywhere that could be they could get damaged marked it's all going to be kept nice and clean it's going to be tidied up same with the layout above as you've seen me fitting it out i just want to get power up there and i want to make sure that everything is working okay i need to get an inverter next and um, i also need to finish up wiring for the the charger for the shore power that will all have to be finished and um, so basically in between waiting to get bits and pieces and parts for uh, those facilities we'll call them and being able to uh, get them until up until I get them all I can really do now is feed the 12 volt throughout the van where the lights plugs and all that kind of crack is going to be that's pretty much easy it's just going to be fed through everywhere and to be honest I don't think I'm going to bother filming that I think I'll just what I'll do is I'll just I'll just do it all because it's not even something sorry that interesting to watch I don't I feel but when you see a next video of this Everything should be cleaned up, everything should be tidied. I'll probably show you the inverter going in. Anything that I kind of see that's finicky and I'm interesting to watch, I'll throw all that up and then hopefully we can get into slabbing the walls, insulation in, and I'll show you all that happening because then it'll really come together. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I don't want to yap around too much because I know it's it can get irritating. Um, so, yeah. I, what what we did today, and the, after, over the last few days, because I've been driving up and down getting parts, I think turned out quite well. Um, everything just needs to be tidied up and adjusted a little bit and displayed a little bit more elegantly. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So thanks everybody for watching the video. I really appreciate anyone who's watching and following. Um, comment below what you think and I'll talk to you in the next one.